hello welcome to tech easy good evening to everyone today in this video we'll see how to download zira software to your windows laptop or computer so i just opened google and searched a zira download for windows zira is from atlassian company and the website is atlassian.com so just open this website and here the first thing you need to do is sign up for this website so click on get it for free it will ask you to sign up so i will click on google because i'll give my gmail id through gmail id i'll create an account so when you tap on this it's automatically creates a atlassian account or the zira account so this is done i'll again open a new tab on google this time i'll try to download zira software server so download zira for windows again you can search and this time you can open this one where is this one okay download zira software server what i'll do is i'll just copy this url and place in the description if you want to check you can get it in the description now here uh, if you observe this is the latest version so you choose the latest version which is zira 10.0.1 okay i can directly click on download and download but i'll click on zip archive because mine is windows so i'll agree the terms and conditions and click on download as now we'll see with the continuation of installation part i'll just go to download folders this is the zip folder say here i need to unzip this so within the available software just at extract the folder so that you'll get a folder like this so if you observe this atlassian zira software 10 version is in my download folder so i don't want this on download so what i'll do is i'll copy this folder and i'll place it in somewhere location like c program files so here i'll paste the folder so i already pasted this open that folder again double click on it so that you'll find a folder called bin open bin and here you'll see something like config config is nothing but configuration windows batch file double click on this so this will pop up a command prompt just wait for few seconds it will load up and give you this configuration zira configuration tool you need to set zira home directory i'll uh, show you the documentation official documentation during the setup process we need to give the home directory which is different from the download directory or the actual directory so I'll give something like a different directory other than this C program files. Uh, the, actually, the Atlassian Jira is in C program files, so I'll choose another path. I'll just browse through this computer, C folder under users. I'll select another folder and I'll keep this as my home directory for the Jira. And database H2 is the default database which comes up with Jira. If you have MySQL, SQL server, you can set up there, but now as I am keeping the default and port default port is 8080 if you have another software sharing 8080 you need to change that 8080 to 8081 on something else but now I am just yeah we have finished configuration of the Jira now we have to set up the main software so open Atlassian Jira and then click on bin folder under bin folder you will find a windows batch file which is start zira find this see here start zira this is the service double tap on this so that this will open a command prompt and you should not close this command prompt you just need to minimize this this has to be running in the background meanwhile it is running in the background you need to open any browser on your computer chrome or edge browser or anything and in the url section just search through localhost iphone the port number 8080 what i have decided in the configuration if you have changed something else you need to give that localhost and refresh the page for two to three times it may take few seconds to see this atlas and zira setup if there are any errors that will show up in this uh, command prompt or the console and if everything is fine if you if it is completed successfully this is what you will see atlas and zira is starting up it will take few minutes okay now you'll see setup application properties application title zira is fine and here you can keep the zira application mode in two ways one is private and one is public if it is set to private only administrator can create new users 
if it is public anyone can create but uh, this private is okay for me so I'll just click on next yeah as soon as I click on next I need to provide the license key but I don't have so I need to generate so I'll right click and open this in a new tab here where I'll create or generate license key so yeah in this tab if you scroll down there are two versions Zira cloud and Zira software I don't want the cloud version so Zira software yes I'll just click on generate license so that this will create a license key see here uh, here I can paste it or directly from this tab I can navigate to next button so on this hex this is the key what it is has generated please confirm that you want to wish to install the license key on the following server yes uh, just install with this key okay this generated key I'll click on S now yeah so this is the key so I need to click on next here with this key I am using this Zira application from now on so this will leads to the setup page for username and password so usually mm, it will be something like admin and admin but you can give whatever the administrator account this is the uh, something like admin you can give or your name you can give that is absolutely your choice so uh, full name is different username is different so username you should be careful this is what you will log in so just save it in a notepad or something like that usually admin and admin will be the best choice uh, full name is different and username is different just give username and password then click on next okay once you click on next this will again get to further Zira setup and see here configuring the email notifications as of now once I skip the notifications it came up with the system dashboard see here Zira dashboard here I need to give the username and the password what we have just created so I'll click on log on and now it is asking you to set up the language for me English is fine so I'll click on next and after this it will ask you to choose the avatar you can choose any avatar or you can skip that step and you can click in to enter into the project so what I'm saying is if you have any queries or doubts or errors during this installation you, whatever you face please do comment ask it in the comment section I'll try to answer them or do a separate video and if you feel this tutorial is helpful to you please do hit a like and share it to others thanks for watching have a nice day so this is the welcome page on the Zira and I just subscribe for the more videos on Zira